بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو یور چینل دی اینٹمی کینوس ان ٹو ڈیز کلاس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس وتھ یو دی ماڈل آف دا لیور سو ایز یو پیپل نو دا لیور از دی لارجسٹ گلینڈ آف دی ہیومن باڈی اینڈ اٹ از لوکیٹڈ ان دی آل آف دی رائٹ ہائپوکانڈریم دین دی ایپیگیسٹریم اینڈ دی لیفٹ ہائپوکانڈریم دس لیور از لارجسٹ گلینڈ اٹ سیکریٹس بائل اینڈ اینٹامیکلی اٹ ہیز فائیو سرفیسز اینڈ ون ویری شارپ باڈر دس از دا انفیریئر border which is a very sharp border of the liver then uh, looking at the surfaces of the liver this is the anterior surface of the liver this one is the superior surface of the liver here you can see uh, this all is the inferior surface of the liver this area is the posterior surface of the liver and then the right surface of the liver so it has a very sharp border this one is the inferior border which is very sharp border and it has two notches one is the notch for the ligamentum teres and other is the cyst take notch so uh, next the liver is divided into two lobes the right lobe and the left lobe of the liver the both the lobes are divided by the attachments of the ligament so this is the falciform ligament this falciform ligament and then is goes inferiorly where is the ligamentum teres hepatis is present and then the ligamentum venosum is present so these are the fissure for the ligamentum teres hepatis and this one is the fissure for fissure for the ligamentum venosum this is is the remnant of left umbilical vein and this is the remnant of the ductus venosus and here it meets the ligamentum the falciform ligaments and the attachment of these ligaments divides the ligament uh, liver into two lobes the right lobe and the left lobe the left lobe is nearly 1 by 6 of the whole mass of the liver while the right lobe is nearly 5 by 6 of the liver so this right lobe of the liver is much larger is it is nearly 5 by 6 this is nearly 1 by 6 of the liver and this liver uh, the right lobe of the liver contribute to all the surfaces of the liver so uh, this one is the anterior surface of the liver then on the other side you can see this one is the quad, uh, uh, caudate lobe of the liver and this caudate lobe of the liver is bounded on the right side by the fissure for the um, uh, inferior vena cava on the left side it is bounded by the fissure for the ligamentum venosum and inferiorly it is bound by the uh, porta hepatis and superiorly is the bare area which is uh, bare area where uh, the um, left triangular ligament is present so this is the caudate lobe of the liver and it is related to the crura of the diaphragm This caudate lobe of the liver has a small process which is called caudate process which is present over here so this is the caudate process then we have the quadrate lobe of the liver this quadrate lobe of the liver is nearly rectangular in shape on the right side it is bounded by the fossa for the gall bladder on the left side it is bounded by the fissure for the ligamentum teres hepatis inferiorly is the inferior border and superiorly is the porta hepatis so, so this is the uh, quadrate lobe of the liver then on the left side this left lobe of the liver is concave area and it has the impression for the stomach so this is the gastric impression this is the impression for the stomach and in this area near, near the ligamentum venosum where it has a prominence called tuber uh, tuberculum impar tuber omentalis so this area where it has a tuberosity it is called tuber omentalis then uh, the uh, superior surface uh, the, this is the superior surface so this ligament uh, is the falciform ligament on left side it is forming the left triangular ligament and on the right side it becomes the coronary ligament so this is the coronary ligament and while tracing the coronary ligament coronary ligament downwards then it again becomes the right triangular ligament so here you can see these are the two limbs of the right triangular ligament and here here it is the coronary ligament here you can see this is the triangular shape ligament this is the left triangular ligament and this is the falciform ligament so the area bounded by the left triangular ligament the coronary ligament and then the limb of the uh, right uh, triangular ligament this all is the bear area of the uh, liver which is in direct contact to the diaphragm and it is not covered by the peritoneum and this area presents the superior surface of the diaphragm uh, superior surface of the liver 
then coming on to the uh, porta hepatis and this is the porta hepatis nearly 5 cm area it contains the portal vein the hepatic artery and the bile duct so this is the uh, gallbladder this is the body of the ga gallbladder this area is the body of the gallbladder the fondus of the gallbladder and the cystic duct this cystic duct joins the hepatic ducts to form the common bile ducts which enters into the porta hepatis so this is the area for the porta hepatis and then this one is the um, right lobe of the liver here you can see this area is the uh, impression for the hepatic flexure of the colon this area is impression for the right uh, kidney and this area on the superior aspect this is the superior aspect which has uh, impression for the suprarenal gland this area is an impression for the duodenum here in the quadrate lobe this area has a relationship to the uh, pylorus and also rem remember that the lips of the porta hepatis gives rise to attachment of the lesser mentor so this area is also related to the lesser mentor and then to the pylorus of the stomach by the left lobe this whole area is related to the uh, stomach itself so it is called the gastric impression of the um, left lobe of the liver this quadrate area gives the pyloric uh, impression for the pylorus of the stomach this area is the um, impression for the hepatic flexure of the colon so this is the hepat uh, of colonic impression this area is for the right kidney this area is for the suprarenal gland this area is for an impression for the first part of the duodenum here you can see this is the inferior vena cava and this inferior vena cava is also a bare area it is embedded here in the substance you can see the upper and the lower parts of the inferior vena cava over here and uh, this one is the anterior surface and this anterior surface is related to anterior abdominal wall uh, to it is related to the rib cage up to the level of the 10th rib just one centimeter usually is palpable behind the ribs so these are this is all about the surfaces of the liver and its impression and its ligaments thank you very much for your attention and allah is till the next class